So we took a meter stick and you can make a one centimeter square. And then if you make other squares around it like this in that pattern, then you're going to be able to make a one centimeter cube. It's like origami type of thing. All right. We're going to cut around here, around the outside, and we're going to fold on these lines, and it's going to fold up into a little cubic centimeter. We'll do that to show you what a cubic centimeter looks like. So this is sort of the process making the first little part of it. Yeah, you got to make it, yeah, got to get a little bit neater than that. So it ends up looking like that on the piece of paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut these outside lines. Just cut there. You're going to cut it out. It's going to kind of look like this. I don't know why they cut that other square out. They probably cut that other square out to get to it. Does that make sense? So go ahead and use these scissors and just cut that out if you can. So this is it. Here, set it down right there. So that's it. There it is. Sort of sitting there. All right, yeah, I'm trying to get some. So here's one that's taped up. And you can see how small it is in my hand, but that's... When we talk about a cubic centimeter, that is about the size of a cubic centimeter. And if we took this thing and we put it on the scale, right? And then we teared the scale out to where the scale says zero. Then if we fill this up with water, the scale will read one gram. Does that make sense? So I don't know, it might be fun to try. I'll try to pour a little water in here. This one may leak, it may not. May work, it may not. We'll see what happens. That's about full. Well, you can see that one's a little bit bigger because it weighs 1.6, so we know. You can see there's some water sticking up the top of that one. So yeah, that's actually a little bit bigger than a cubic centimeter. Anyway. That's how it works.